Welcome to Earth Engine Tutorials episode 36. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the uh, greenest uh, day of the year uh, using NDVI. Let's get started. So uh, first of all, you need to go to my GitHub repo to download the notebook example. Uh, if you go to my repo and then examples, uh, my internet is a bit slow. Uh, examples, notebooks, and it should be number 36. Uh, so just click the uh, lower button and uh, right click, save as. Then you can save this one to, for example, the uh, downloads folder. And hit save. Uh, you will see from here. Uh, right now it's under my folder. And uh, open your uh, an anaconda prompt or terminal and then just type Jupyter Notebook hit enter and then you should be able to open uh, Jupyter Notebook on your browser so uh, let's uh, and then just open the examples uh, so number 36 <laughs> Okay, so uh, this is just one example how to find the greenest day of the year uh, using NDVI. But uh, you can um, generalize this uh, uh, methods I am introducing here to, for example, you can find uh, the maximum, the time corresponding to the maximum value of a time series. For example, you can find out this is uh, what's the, the the time with the highest temperature during the past few decades uh, as long as you have data and also for example how uh, can you find out the uh, highest rainfall intensity during the past few decades like uh, the day for every location so it's by pixel um, and we're going to use the so the quality uh, mosaic uh, function okay so let's go through the source code first of all you need to import the libraries and we're going to use the earth engine and g map and then you can create an interactive map next we're going to load uh, an roi so a reason of interest and you can use this one from uh, my uh, earth engine account so i have a a country's uh, freezer collection so let's add this one uh, here okay so this is just a simplified version of the uh, uh, country boundaries uh, for the a globe and you can this uh, in here uh, if you want you can use the inspector and then just hit click so to see what uh, attribute uh, columns uh, available for this feature collection so in here we have two uh, ID and name so the ID basically is the, a three digit uh, character representing each country and also the full name so for example Canada right she in uh, Canada or any country you, you want in this example, I'm going to just use the US and keeping it in mind, the US also here, uh, including Alaska and uh, Hawaii. So once we add the country, we can use the filter. So I'm going to use the US, so I'm going to use the ID column and the USA, right? So the select uh, features from this feature collection. Uh, if the ID equals to USA, we assign this uh, to a new variable called ROI, and then we add the ROI to to the map so if you see this one right now let me uncheck here so we have the ROI right now this is just representing the US here Alaska and Hawaii and also the uh, continental uh, US next we're going to add some uh, uh, image uh, data so we are going to use the lens set 8 uh, top of atmosphere so this is the uh, ID for the data set and we, we can also set the, the date okay so I'm here I'm going to use uh, 2019 uh, the entire year and so first of all we need to so basically this uh, block of source code is uh, retrieving all the lens set data uh, with, for 2019 for the entire US so you, we're going to have a lot of uh, uh, imagery within this feature collection so all we need to do uh, just hit one and let's see right 
we can add another block of a source code if we want uh, let me add sale above and we can print out for example print uh print help eight dot size dot get info and we can take a look how many images um last year for the entire us uh, it's going to be a lot uh, it might take some time to uh, compute and after that we're going to create on a, a median uh, image composite let me pause here and okay so uh, as you can see it has ele uh, 11 thousand and 743 images for the us last year okay so it's a lot of imagery next step we're going to create a median image composite so basically just uh, take a with all the images and then just take them um, median uh, values of all the pixels uh, for each specific location and in this way we have one uh, image okay so once we create the uh, median composite uh, it will automatically be added to the map and this is going to take a while because uh, it's for the entire us so it's a big data set let me just zoom in here a little bit uh, it might take some time to uh, show on the map okay so if you see from here on the right in here uh, starting to uh, show the uh, the data uh, and if you notice uh, from the imagery in here there are lots of clouds in here because when you take the immediate composite if that area is most of the time is uh, covered by cloud if you take a median it will start still be a cloudy pixel and that's that's what it looks like in here so it's not perfect and what we're trying to do here is we're going to use a different way to do a composite we are going to use the uh, the uh, NDVI so the uh, normalized difference vegetation index and here are some of the functions that we're going to do so essentially we have uh, 11,000 images and we're going to do to calculate the NDVI for each one and we are also going to add a, a date to each image so we we preserve all the imagery but once we calculate NDVI, we're going to select the pixel, uh, the image with the highest pixel uh, NDVI values. And then all the pixel information coming from that date will be preserved in the final mosaic imagery. So this goes through this full block of our source code here at the NDVI. So assume that you have one image. We're going to calculate the normalized difference index. After that, we rename the band to uh, NDVI. So otherwise, it is uh, you, you might not know what the, the name of the, the spectral band. And after that, we're going to add this NDVI band to the original one. Okay. So if you see from here, uh, we use length set eight. So we add NDVI. We are also going to add the date. So this one is very important that uh, if we want to find out the time or the date for that specific image with the high uh, for that pixel with the highest um, uh, value so what we are trying to do here we first we need to get the the image acquisition date right and then we convert this one uh, explicitly to us in us engine uh, date uh, and then here is what we want we want to do the formatting so because we are trying to add this uh, time band to the image it needs to be numbers okay so we're trying to formatting using year months and date don't put any other hyphen or, or others because uh it will not it won't be able to convert to uh numbers okay so this is just numbers if you have a hyphen it won't work because this cannot be converted to numbers so make sure that you follow this uh, format and once we have this uh, string we convert this one back to a number and then with the number then we can add this one as an additional band and then we rename as a, a date also convert this one to integers just to make it consistent so this line here basically add another a band to the image and the the, the, the value of the band is basically the, the the image acquisition date also if you want to just uh, add a month for example if you want to find out 
um, the uh, the location with the uh, uh, highest NDVI during the year, uh, the months of the year. So you can add months. You can also add day of year. So for months, it will be from January to December. So the number will be um, from one to twelve. If you add day uh, day of year, it will be from one to three hundred sixty-five. So we will also rename the band as months and also rename it uh, as DOY. So this is what. Uh, we are trying to achieve here using this as uh, uh, four functions. Once we define these functions, we can use the map uh, to uh, apply the function to each image. Okay, so basically, essentially, we're going to apply these four functions to um, these 11,000 images. And so we're adding actually four bands and on top of the original lens set uh, spectral bands, right? So the map. And then at NDVI at date, at months, at day of year. Okay, and let's execute. So this one here is probably the single most important. So this is the so-called quality mosaic. This function is very important because uh, we already calculated the NDVI, right? So for a specific location, you might have multiple images uh, or the choir for that location. So what we are trying to find out here is the pixel we uh, the, the 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 image with the highest ndvi during the past uh, 20 in, in 2019 so if that image has the highest ndvi for that pixel we are also going to retain um the spectral values and also the date the month and day of year okay so uh, very important this is a very powerful function once we have this image okay uh it's it's an image with multi-spectral bands. Um, so if we just execute, if you want to see the band names, you can uh, add another one here. So for example, I can just green this uh, dot band names dot get info. Okay. Or green this. So now you will see here, uh, this image has uh, this original spectral bands and also the ndvi the date the month and year so we have more spectral bands and this is how we can find out the day of the year right uh, next let's display the data so if you we have multi uh, multi spectral bands in here and so first let's just display the ndvi because each pixel right now represent the highest ndvi during the year Okay, so you're supposed to have a uh, lot of green area across the US. And this is the uh, 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 palette uh, we can use for uh, visualizing NDVI. And let's take a look. So this is what it looks like. Um, originally, this is just the median composite. Uh, it's not very nice because uh, you see a lot of clouds. Now we calculate the NDVI and then we just pick the pixel with the highest NDVI and um, uh, it's going to be a much better image composite so you see here a lot of green area and compared to the original one you don't see a lot of cloud right otherwise you, you, you will see that one from the NDVI in here so much better and we can also um, display the entire image okay so here is the greenness right now uh, this is a new uh, composite and we can take a look at what's the differences between this one and the original um, uh, image composite. Again, it might take some time to compute and uh, display. But uh, this is the, um, the highlight. So if you want right now, let me uh, maximize. And let's take a look what uh, the data looks like. So just uh, activate the inspector. Okay, so if you let's take a look at this one first. Okay, so this is the new uh, image composite. And as you can see here, right now all the clouds uh, uh, coverage uh, is reduced compared to the original one. So I can take a look at the layer control. And let me turn off this one. So if you see um, the green is pixel, right? This is the new image composite using the quality mosaic. And compared to the median, right, a huge difference. So the quality is much better now. 
compared to the original one. And we can activate the inspector control and let's click somewhere and, and to see the pixel values, right? So the first two is the uh, freezer collection that we added earlier. And this is the median composite, okay? But this is the one, the most important in here. How do you find out the date for with the highest NDVI? So if you see from this value in here, the location that I click, it has the highest NDVI in 2019, August 9, right? So the month will be uh, 8 and the day of the year um, is here. Yeah, August 9 is the uh, 221 uh, out of 356. So we can try another location. It's going to be different, right? So it's very by location. So this one is July 20, uh, 23rd, month is July 7 and uh, day of the year. Okay. So in this way, you have a, a quality uh, mosaic. Each pixel now has the uh, greenness, okay, because it has the highest NDVI. So this is 0.79, right? Compared to um to the all the pixels for the entire time series because for each location um you you are expected to have um 30 or 40 uh, images right so it's taking the highest value out of those uh entire time series but you also notice that right now we have a problem because uh waters right now looks very uh bright it looks like the color so this method is good for uh, doing uh, NDVI composite, but it's not for good for water because uh, NDVI is very low in the water. So um, and and cloud, a uh, cloud actually has a higher NDVI compared to water. So it's going to take the cloud pixel. So that's not good compared to uh, if we you compare to the median. So if you let me take a look at here one again, right? So originally the water like dark color. And because we take the NDVI, so now, now the NDVI uh, uh, for cloud is higher than water, so it takes the cloud, cloudy pixel. Okay, so this is uh, the uh, the way how you can uh, find out the the time for the specific location with the highest value. It can be the highest temperature, it can be the highest uh, amount of uh, rainfall, or it can be the um highest uh, uh rainfall or temperature or moisture or something like that uh, depends on what uh your specific data set uh information it contains also we can select the months for example if you want to find out uh they say the phenology right highest ndvi when uh does that occur across the us is it all in months uh july august or september or what months so we can extract the month's uh ban and then display on also on the map so we can execute this one uh months and also day of year right so let me un activate this one because this is uh for a large area so it might take some time to uh display but um this is a very simple and straightforward uh, method you can use to determine um the time of the year with the high uh, the greenness uh value so the first one is the greenness month so if you see from here we use a rate to blue right so uh we have 12 values uh 1 to 12 so red means uh lower in the early of the year and if it is like dark blue it's it the, the end of the year so somewhere in between so might be in july or in august you can click uh, the inspector you if you want to uh, see the values similarly the day of the year is from uh, 1 to 336 365 so the color uh, brown and green so if it's green that, that, that means it's towards the end of the year so later in the year, if it is uh, brown or red, it is it will be earlier in the year. Okay, so this is show you kind of overall uh, patterns of the greenness or the NDVI changes during the year uh, with the highest pixel values. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. If you enjoy this uh, video, please uh, consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel.
hope to see you in my next video take care bye bye